all the students today we are going to study light wave transmission in the wireless transmission or in the unguided media now a uh, light wave transmission basically uses optical signaling so you can call it light wave transmission or optical signaling also so the unguided optical signaling has been used in use for a very long time if i look at a modern application of uh, how to use a light wave transmission uh, so it is to connect two lans in two buildings via lasers mounted on their roof top tops so you have uh, two buildings and at the roof tops of those buildings you mount lasers and with the help of those lasers you connect two lans in two buildings so this is one modern application of light wave transmission or optical signaling now this optical signaling uh using lasers is inherently unidirectional it uses lasers and it is unidirectional unidirectional you know that it can travel in only one direction and not in all directions at the same time so if it is going in a straight line it will go in a straight line only and not in, in at any other angle so this is what you mean by unidirectional therefore each building needs its own laser and its own photo detector so for this reason since it is a uh, unidirectional it will not go in all directions so each building that wants to uh, connect its lans using the optical signaling or the light wave transmission needs its own laser each building will have its own laser mounted on the rooftop and then its own photo detector to detect these optical signals now this scheme offers a very high bandwidth and is very easy to install so the advantage of having this kind of transmission is that first of all it gives you very high bandwidth which is always desirable in communication and then it is very easy to install so what else could you ask for okay so next uh, point for optical signaling or light wave transmission is that the laser strength now the lasers which are used for optical signaling so the strength of those lasers is that it has a very narrow beam right and this very strength of the laser that is its a narrow beam is its weakness also now why is its weakness because if you aim a laser beam of 1 mm wide at a target the size of a pinhead 500 meters away i'll repeat it once again just imagine a laser beam which goes out the size of that laser beam is 1 mm wide right that laser beam is 1 mm wide and the target that means the point where it has to reach is the size of a pin head now you have seen a pin the head of a pin so the target for this laser beam which is just 1 mm which is 1 mm wide is a small pin head so it has to be targeted so accurately and sharply that it exactly reaches that pin head which is then to top it which is then 500 meters away which is not even near okay if it was near targeting could have been easier the laser beam is 1 meter wide and you have to focus on this kind of a pin size head this is the target right so first of all targeting such a small pin head for a laser beam which is 1 meter wide is difficult in itself you have to be very focused and accurate and then it is not far then it is 500 meters away so it makes it even more difficult to target uh, to focus on a target which is 500 meters away and just the size of a pin head right so this requires extreme accuracy as i said so the very strength of a laser that is a narrow beam is its weakness also because of this reason now lenses are put into the system so that you can defocus the beam slightly right so for slight defocusing so that if it is going like this you can slightly make it go like this if the target is somewhere like here so you can slightly defocus the beam slightly 
for that purpose you use lenses in the system the disadvantage for a laser beam is that they cannot penetrate rain or thick fog this is the disadvantage of a laser beam used by the light wave transmission or the optical signals but on sunny days that means when you have sun shining they work very well so this is all about your light wave transmission